Colin, and welcome to another edition of A Preacher and His Work. We have so many great gospel preachers and ministers across our country and around the world, and this is our way of helping you get to know them just a little bit better. We are recording from Polishing the Pulpit this week in Sevierville, Tennessee, and this is a great work to be a part of, and I would encourage anyone to come and be a part of Polish in the Pulpit. And we get to meet brethren from all over the, the country. And we have Brother Gary Bennett with us today. And Brother Gary, I appreciate you taking time to sit down and talk with us. Thank you, my privilege. Uh, what congregation are you currently working with? I serve with the Dodge City Church of Christ in Dodge City, Kansas. All right, well, how long have you been with them? Eight years. Eight years. August 2nd was eight years. Well, congratulations. How long have you been in ministry total? 39 years, July 1st. 39 years. Well, thank you so much for for everything that you do and, and, and continue to do. Have when, when you look at 39 years of, of ministry, what motivated you to, to get into ministry? What motivated you to take that, that route in life? I grew up in a denominational home until I was about 14 years old. My grandfather was a Pentecostal preacher, and from the time I was real small, I was always told, you're going to be a preacher, you be Papa's preacher. And I, even at a young age, in the denominational home with which, in which I grew up, I felt the need that people needed to know about Jesus, and that was just part of my home life. And events happened, and my folks got a divorce. My dad married a Christian woman, and we started attending services with her. And when I learned that <clears throat> what was required to become a Christian, I thought I'd never heard that before. You see, I had been given the ask God to come into your heart story. I've mm -hmm. been told that once you did that, no matter what, you're going to be saved. And that uh, just live good for him and you get a crown and diamonds and robes and all that kind of stuff. But when I learned about salvation, baptism, washing away the blood of Christ, I thought, I've never heard this before. More people got to hear this. And so I was even more determined that I need to become a preacher to share that message because people that I knew had never heard that said that. Yeah. I had never even been in a discussion about baptism or the blood of Jesus. And so I went ahead and said, okay, that's what I need to do. I got out of high school, decided to go to preaching school, but a preacher said, you need to get in the real world for a while. After working in the restaurant business, I thought I'm not really helping people, and if somebody should talk me out of ministry, I shouldn't be part of it anyway. Yeah. So I decided to go to school and then start preaching. Well, based on your experience coming out of denominationalism and, and as a 39 years as a minister, if there was one message that you could share, what would that one message be? I would think that people would need to know that the relationship that God had with Adam and Eve in the garden before sin entered into it is the same relationship He wants to have with us relationship that he gave his own son to die for so that we can spend eternity with him. That is a great message. And Brother Gary, I, I appreciate everything that you, you do, uh, and I really appreciate you taking time to be with us today. Thank you. appreciate it, Jimmy. I appreciate you being with us, and I look forward to being with you next time on A Preacher and His Work. To God be the glory, great the preceding program was a production of the Fort Payne Church of Christ TV studio located in Fort Payne, Alabama.